Good morning guys! For today's video, we will be talking about how did I pass my civic integration exam level at way specifically on KNM or Kanes Nederlandsen Metskapai. So stay tuned, keep watching because I will be sharing something that might help you along your journey here in Netherlands. So I will be sharing you my secrets, Char. <laughs> no, it's not secret, but I will be sharing you how did I prepare for that exam, I mean, what are the books that I have used in preparation for that exam, and, uh, and all the things that I have done for me to pass that exam. So for those who are new in this channel, this is Mel in NL. I am a Filipina and now residing in Netherlands, so obviously English is not my first language. <laughs> English is just my second language, so bear with me with my English speaking skill, but I am trying my best to speak well so that my audience can understand. If you have watched my previous video, in the Philippines I did not enroll any courses. I study uh, for the exam in Borokering exam in Aeng together with my husband, we just studied it. Mm, online and we did not enroll any course but during my Atua journey I have decided to enroll a course and that took me 13 weeks to finish that course and that but that 13 weeks really helped me first we will be talking about what are the books that I have been used in preparation for that exam the kind and so I am um, uh, Clarifying things, I am talking about Atwe in Borkering Examen, specifically KNM, Kenes Nederlandse Matskapai. So, the book that I have used in preparation for that exam are. I will show you those books. So, the first book that I have used is The Welcome in Nederlands by Marilyn Gatlier. I will show it to you. This is how the book looks like. Yeah. I have purchased it by a bowl.com and this cost less than 40 euros. I forgot how much how much is it uh, exactly precise the precise price the exact price but it's less than 40 euro. I think it's 37 38 euros. Yeah, this is the book that I have used and since I enrolled the course, we use it every time we have lesson because in the school that I have enrolled uh, I attended class for two days a week. Every Wednesday, uh, my class is about only this one, only about this book, about Welcome in Netherlands, Kenes van Netherlands, Matskapai, and everything about uh, how the community do here. About on the first uh, chapter of this book, this is talking about the the land. I mean, it is introducing you on how the country looks like, how big the country is, and of course, you already have background a bit of it on your AIN. Yeah, on uh, KNS, on your AIN exam, or that's the involving exam or integration exam, civic integration exam, AIN. So, you already have the background about the land and suites and like that. And the nice thing about this book is every chapter, at the end of every chapter, there are uh, reviews and uh, it says like this. Offenen, yeah, are you able to read it? Offenen for hit in Borkering Examen. So there, there are practices every end of the chapter, there are practices for the in preparation for your integration exam so this is one of the nice thing that i can share about this book yeah and with the help of my teacher i really i was really able to learn so much good enough to pass the exam and yeah that really helped me with with going to school yeah like i am i need to talk to other people i need to talk with my classmates i need to talk with uh, my teachers using this book and sometimes we do role playing like if the situation is like this what are you going to respond and the thing is my teacher is a bit uh, how to say that not straight but he is just emphasizing how you should learn things <laughs> that's what i want to say you wanna 
Yeah, like uh, how to say that? I I don't know the word. I don't know the word in English, but he is uh, really wanna let you know how things happened here. That's it. Like if you say oh blah 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 like this, and that is not how it is used to be here. He said, oh no, that is not how you should say. Uh, and if the grammar is wrong, oh that is not how you should say. It. Can you repeat how you do it? Can you try to do it in a proper grammar, in a correct manner, or blah blah blah. Just like that. So that really helped me going to school and using this book. And by the way, before I went to school, I was already have this book. And this book, you can uh, buy it online. And if you're going to enroll some course, you can also have this in package together with your school upon your enrollment. But I already bought it before I enrolled my course in the school. And the nice thing about this book is not only book, but it has also application online. You can go to the website and then you will put your uh, code. There is a code in the book. You will put the code and then you will be registered online. So there online you can practice listening. You can practice uh, all the quiz and practices for exam and yeah there are exercises you can do there and my teacher always said that if you will get eight out of ten in every practices then that is good enough so because the <laughs> passing is only six but uh, the school and the teacher my teacher always want us to get at least, at least eight because if we got eight for sure we will already pass the exam <laughs> so that is that is it so again, the name of the book is Welcome and Nederland. So it is less than 40 euros. So 37, 38, that's the price of this book. And this book is really nice because uh, first it will talk about the land, how big it is, uh, where it lays, uh, where is the location of it. And the second is the people in Netherlands, the mention in Nederland. Okay, that's the second part uh, yeah it will talk about the color how the people celebrate here mm, about uh, if somebody have birthday what are you going to do if somebody is uh, uh, dead what are you going to do what are the ma what are the cards that you're gonna say the dutch way of making things okay so they have different way of i think it's in every country that we have different way on how we do things like how we greet people that is yeah that is it so yeah that's the chapter two of this book yeah so how, when are you going to say formal words formal greetings uh, many other things that you can really learn on this book and the thing is it will really appear on the exam because that's that's what the exam all about. Okay, testing on KNM, Kines van de Nederland, Samatskapai. How well did you know on the society? Okay, that's the that's the purpose there. So you really, because uh, if you're living here less than uh, one year and you want to take the exam already, or you are just living here one year and you're gonna take the exam. You really need to study at least if you are living here like three years or almost three years. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure because I wanna pass all the exam before my three years because that's the requirements. After three years, you will be having a, what, how do you call that? Uh, you will be having a what, penalty. You will be having penalty if you are not yet done with this exam because this exam is uh, uh, perplexed. Now, I'm confused with my English and Dutch. This is obligatory. I mean, this is, yeah, this is obligatory. This is, there, there is no choice on this. You should. This is should. It, you must do it. Okay? That's the thing. Okay. The third is about health is on height and insurance in Netherlands. So, yeah. That's the third part of this book. Yeah, medicines. Uh, if you can, how are you gonna get medicines here? What are the medicines that you can buy on the over the counter? And what are the medicines that really need to have prescriptions? How are you gonna? When are you gonna call the ambulance? How are you gonna? 
book an appointment to the house arts or house doctor so yeah this is really important as for me this is really important because by having this book at least for me the most important thing that i learned learning this book is uh, about the trash <laughs> the, the, the about the trash the classification of trash well yeah that's the that's the most important thing for me that i learned here about yeah about disposing your trash beans and about politics that's how i uh, i also learned the things and about insurance yeah There's lots of things that i have learned here now about the chapter four from this book so it will it is talking about i will just give you overview on what is this book look like maybe you will be you will be amazed oh i should buy this but actually you don't need to be amazed to help yourself to pass the exam you just need to think that oh which book should i use especially if you don't know and you don't have idea what are the things that you're gonna use so that is why i am sharing this to you maybe it will help you and it will uh, it will help you yeah maybe that's the purpose that maybe it will help you and you will decide to buy this book i'm not promoting i am not paid by this actually but i am just sharing that this helped me okay the chapter four of this book is about living in netherlands it says wonen in netherlands okay living in netherlands okay so how are you gonna buy house if you want to buy house how are you gonna rent house where are, where are you going to to go if you want to buy house what are you going to do if you want to have house okay what are the insurances what how much you should pay what are the things that you need to pay if you buy house that is all about like that that's the chapter four and the chapter five is about uh Dates for laning in Netherlands. So it's about police and uh, municipality, the police, the community, okay, the tax. Uh, how to say that? Tax. How do we call that in the Philippines? But it's about the tax, the 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 one that collect your tax, <laughs> belasting means uh, your permit to stay, verb life spectrum you're naturalized naturalization how can you get naturalization that na, how how are you going to have the naturalization or naturalization that means that how can you get a passport an island passport how long it takes for you to get that what are the processes and yeah that is very important because that will help you part six of this book is about uh, otherwise education and upbringing upbringing and education in Netherlands. so how if you have kids how are you going to uh, treat your kids uh, what are the things that you should do so that your kids will be enrolled in a class well, yeah just like that simple thing like that how are you going to take care of your kids if you're gonna go to work or gonna where are you going to leave your kids what are the possibilities that you can do here in Netherlands if you have if you have child or if you have children yeah and then uh, part seven of this book is about working in Netherlands working in Netherlands so how are you going to apply for a job where are you gonna apply for a job uh, how to make CV your CV curriculum vitae how are you going to make that uh, where can you ask help to, for for your application uh, if you want to build your own if, yeah if you are so rich and you want to build your own company what are you going to do and what are the rights that you have as a worker here and what are the necessary things that will be deducted on your salary or the necessary thing that you should do before you can find a job so yeah, that's it and next is uh, salmon laven in netherlands or living together in netherlands so uh, about your relationship here if you're married if you are just living together if you are divorced if you are same-sex relationship women and men men and men women and women like that so there's no problem with that here so it's just uh introducing you on the community on the society so Part 9 of this book is the Hiskadenis van Nederlands or that's the Hiskadenis. That's the history in Nederlands of Nederland. So during 1800, during World War, Second World War, Middle Age, uh, Golden Ages, 
yeah, those times that you really need to know and it is very important on your exam. Yeah, that's it. And the last part of this book is about politics and idolands. And for me, this is the hardest because I don't like politics acts. Really, I really don't like politics and I hate memorizing because here in Netherlands they really have lots of parties. Like, unlike in my country that there are only four or five that I know and maybe ten at most. Then here, for the last election, there are 38 parties or 36 if I'm not uh, mistaken. If my memory serves me right, there are 36 or 38 parties running, competing. So, yeah, how are you going to memorize all this stuff? Oh, okay, just tell me. So, if you have this book, at least uh, you can prepare yourself, you can review. And if you want to go to school, that will um, help you more. It will uh, make you more aware how to practice these things. Talk to your colleague, talk to your classmates, talk to your teacher. Okay, those are the things that I did in preparing for this exam. First, the next thing that I did in preparation for this exam is, aside from this book, is enrolling a course. That's the second thing that I did. I did enroll a course that doesn't help me only on KNM but also on other exams because there are six exams that you need to take for Atway or um, level Atway. So, if I have only this book, I can pass this exam. But how about the other, the other types of exam? There are six. How about the speaking? Oh my God! For me, that's the hardest. When I talk the exam in the Philippines, I am thinking that uh, speaking is the hardest part. Maybe the same as you, but that's what I am thinking. That's the hardest part because, of course, language. Oh, you don't know. You are not acquainted with the language. You only have like at least ten words you know in Dutch. So that is the hardest. But. Uh, Let's just see. I already took my uh, Spraken exam yesterday. There's no result yet, so I cannot tell you if how did I do with that exam. I will only tell you if I'm done. So, okay, by the way, I will be sharing everything. Uh, every types of exam that I, I took, I will share it to you how did I practice for them. But for now, this is book. So, that's the second thing that I did is uh, studying here in Netherlands for in preparation for this exam. The next thing is you will really be acquainted in the society if you're gonna have your life here, if you are living your life here, if you're gonna have your insurance and if you're gonna go to the dentist, <laughs> if you're gonna pay tax, uh, you will experience that if you're gonna do all the stuff. Uh, doing groceries, going to the municipality, uh, what else? <clears throat> Simple things, uh, going to the house arts, going to the um, dental clinic. Yeah, lots of things. Uh, attending birthdays, sending cards to your friends, uh, sending email. Yeah, that really helped you in preparation for this exam. That really helped you. And the third thing that I did is watching news. Yeah, watching news. I'm not so fun and watching news because they talk really so hard, blah, 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 blah. And I'm still running, uh, running. No, I am still, uh, what the, what does this have? Oh, what, what, what is that? I don't understand so much, but along the way, it just need the uh, pra practice. Along the way, like if you keep watching uh, the same show for about five to six months, it will help you already uh, oh yeah a bit learn more and maybe after one and a half year or two years you already understand what you're watching that really help you uh, learning the society because by watching the news you will know what happened in this part of Netherlands what are the activities um, games uh, with the right competitions yeah, what are the news in the government? What are the new rules of Corona, COVID, and other stuff? So you will learn all the stuff. And what is the next thing? The next thing that I did is uh, finding work. Yeah, finding work. By finding work, having my job really helped me to speak and know what are the rules in the in the in in the workplace. How do you deal with other people in Netherlands? Because if it's just your husband, yeah, 
it's different because it's just your husband or it's just your wife it's that is really a different story but if you are dealing with other people like uh, in your workplace it is really a different story and it will really makes you learn how things going here what should i do if this is happen uh, yeah how should i ride a bus mm-hmm, yeah because it's not all the time that my that your husband cannot drive you to work how can i use metro how can i use bus where did i buy a witchy card yeah you need those things so that you can go to work <laughs> yeah so when upon uh, preparing for this all the simple things all the practical things that you really need to do in upon living here that is really that that help you that help you to learn that uh, that that enables you to prepare for this for this exam because this is about kindness when the Netherlands are not kapai so yeah that really helped you so those are the things that I did uh, buy this book enroll the class find some work experience uh, simple things here and I don't so I almost forgot there is still one more thing that I did uh, I did practice online that is the the website from the duo and that is in borkeren.nl so I did practice there for this exam and I will give you the link in the description box if you haven't know this yet you can click that uh, link and you will be able to practice too and uh yeah with all the luck maybe (laughs) with all the with all the luck with all the blessings from the lord and with all the preparations and with the help of my husband and my teachers i did pass this uh, exam in the kind yeah i took the exam last uh, june 26 and one week after like seven days after i got the result and i the exam yay i'm so happy that i passed passing score is six and i got eight so that's already a plus but it really doesn't matter pass is pass here it doesn't matter if how is how much is your score it doesn't matter so hmm. so i hope this video will help you if you're still watching now i hope this video will help you along your journey here in Netherlands. all the steps are just simple but I hope I am hoping that but this is based on experience that is why I'm hoping that this will help you too thank you so much for watching and see you on my next vlog bye